Greetings, salutations, and welcome, everybody, to Variax's Let's Play of Mountain Blade, version 1.011. Completely vanilla, no mods. This is just it. Mountain Blade, the original game. Um, played this for a couple hours, really liked it. Big thank you to Kakoni for gifting me this game. Um, had a few people suggest it to me over the years, and it did catch my attention, and I did want to play it, but I didn't have it, and now I do. So I played it, I enjoy it, so I'm let's playing it. Um, this is a... It's a sandbox style RPG action adventure sort of game in which you are plonked into a mythical medieval realm um, in which there are five or... I think there's five different kingdoms vying for power and you join one or more of them or none of them and um, try and take over the world or do whatever you want to do in it. Um, I think... Role playing this is going to be quite a challenge, and that's why I hesitate to call it a role playing game, because um, you tend to play it the same way all the time anyway. Um, it's more about the gameplay, so that's why it's more of, a, of an action adventure game, in my opinion. But it does have RPG elements uh, like stats and skills and stuff like that. Um, but my character's background is that we're, 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 we've been wronged somehow by one of the factions, and we have to kill one faction. That's basically our aim for this Let's Play. Not sure which faction it is. It can. It'll be the Nords, okay? Because uh, that's the only one I can remember. The Nords have wronged us in some way, and so in this let's play, we want to kill all of the Nords on the map. That's what we're going to do. Um, unlike my other let's plays, this let's play has not been recorded ten years in advance, and therefore, if you want to give me any hints and tips on the game, on how to, on on general gameplay uh, hints, tips, or how to build my character, what stats and skills are most useful, then please do, and I may well heed them. So, uh, with the introduction gone, let's start a new game. So, I'm gonna make a character. Um, welcome adventurer to Mountain Blade. Before you can start playing the game, you must create a character. To begin, select your character's gender. We are gonna be male. You were born years ago in a land far away. Your father was um, an impoverished noble, traveling merchant, a veteran warrior, hunter, step nomad, or a thief. Not any of them. Not a merchant. So either a warrior or an... Imp I like the idea of an impoverished noble. I think that works. Um, if we're wronged and maybe our family was killed, maybe we sort of had a, had a small holding, and the Nords, because we were in their way or whatever, decided to sweep across and kill us. Which is a bit, a bit mean, but there we go. So yeah, we're in, the son of an impoverished noble. You came into the world the son of a declining nobility, owning only the house in which they live. That makes sense. However, despite your family's hardships, they afforded you a good education and trained you from childhood for the rigors of aristocracy and life at court. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as... A page at a nobleman's court, customs apprentice... No, no, that doesn't work at all. And no. Um, Cashman's apprentice sent me off to the smithy or as a, a carpenter or something. Probably the smithy. Um, or a page at a nobleman's court. I guess we would be that. No, I don't think he would send me away to another nobleman, since my dad is a nobleman. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be a craftsman's apprentice. As a boy going out of childhood, you apprenticed with a local craftsmith to earn a trade. Um, yeah, we'll say blacksmithing. After years of hard work and study under your new master, he promoted you to journeyman and employed you as a fully paid craftsman for as long as you wished to stay. Then, as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became a squire, troubadour, university student, goods peddler, no. A smith, no. Well, a smith kind of works, game butcher, no. But I don't think I would stay on as a smith. I learnt my trade, um, making swords and axes and stuff, and I, I, I mastered it. Time to move on, do something else, you know? So maybe I became a squire for a, a knight who I met while I was a blacksmith, or maybe someone my dad knew to train me the ways of the world and stuff like that. So yeah, we became a squire. Uh, though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had to become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. When you were named squire to a noble at court, you practiced long hours with weapons, that'll help. Learning how to deal out hard knocks and how to take them too. You were instructed in your obligations to your lord and of your duties to those who might one day be your vassals. But in addition to learning the chivalric 
ideal, you also learned about the less uplifting side. Old warriors' stories of ruthless power politics, of betrayals and usurpations, of men who used guile as well as valor to achieve their aims. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was... Personal revenge. Loss of a loved one? Maybe, yeah, because our, our dad was killed, you know, we were, and our, our home was destroyed. But that's more like revenge. So that's what we're going to do. We're going personal revenge against the Nords. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. Still, it was not as difficult a choice as you uh, to leave with rage burning brightly in your heart. You want vengeance. Vengeance. You want justice. Uh, what was done to you cannot be undone. Um, this debt can only be debt can only be paid in blood. All right then, let's become an adventurer and ride out. Uh, we get to pick a flag because you can't take over countries without flags. I have that flag. There are three swords. And what would be the game's the game's saving policy? Uh, B. Realistic, no quitting without saving. I want the option, because this is a let's play and I could screw myself completely over and uh, even though I might not use it, I want the option to uh, quit without saving. Thanks very much. And yeah, now, uh, so we have like a level and health and experience and you know, you gain experience, you gain levels. So attributes. Um, I tell you what, we'll just, because we've got four attribute points, we'll make these up to eight each. So we have like a good round number and, you know, they're pretty average, all of them, you know. So, um, if you guys tell me to increase one of them, I'm not in too much of a, uh, deficit. But, uh, just bear in mind, this isn't interactive. I'm just gonna, you know, I am asking for advice, but I'm not necessarily gonna take it. It's just because I don't know that much about the game, so... It'd be good if, you know, I get a bit of insider information on making a decent character. Um, Alright, so what now? Okay, we've got three in leadership. That's good. We've got th uh, three in riding. Two in weapons master. And, okay, it's in power strike, which increases our melee damage. So we got, we're got good at melee. Oh, two-handed weapons is what we're wanting. So we're very much a melee fighter, definitely. Um, let's stick... One in athletics, in case we go into an arena, which we probably will. Um, that doesn't seem that good. Each point in this skill increases hit points by plus two. Health is 45, so now we're going to bother with, our, with iron flesh. Uh, riding's already good. Uh, well, which is the one that lets me move faster? Is it that one? Pathfinding. Uh, let's me move faster on the main big map. So we'll put that. Spotting also, we'll put one in that as well. We'll put one into inventory management. Actually, no, not yet because we don't really get that much loot early on. Prisoner stuff. Uh, we'll be quite persuasive. And yeah, we can take prisoners. Uh, one more. Let's stick it in first aid. And what's left for me? Oh yeah, into the name. I am Variax. Thanks very much. Onwards to the actual game. All right, okay, yeah. So we want a decent sort of dude, decent looking dude to be anyone vaguely decent looking, anyone at all. Okay, we'll settle for you. That's us. <laughs> With a different beard, say. Um, we won't see too much of our face because most of the game will be... There, there we go, that's us. Will be played um, like from either first person or third person perspective, so you won't see that face that much anyway. So it doesn't really matter. You arrive in Cald Radia, a land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy, a haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. In this land, which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you will leave your past behind and start a new life. Now, on a rise above a distant training field, you feel that you hold the key of your destiny in your hands. Free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventures await you. So we're off on a quest to kill the Nords. Let's do it. Okay, so there's our training field. And where are we? Um, who are these guys? They've... Oh, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Stop, 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 that's fine. It's all good. So there I am. Um, just me. Uh, we're in this place. The green people. 
And where are the nods? I believe they're up north, aren't they? That would make sense. Alright, so the yellows. We have to kill the yellow kingdom. All of this has to be annihilated. And we're starting off here. And as you can see, it's a pretty major map. Pretty epic. And yeah, there's five. Green, purple, orange, blue, I guess, yellow, and green. Yeah, back to the beginning. So where are we? There. All right, then.